All right, folks, I, I got this project, this uh, tarp project. I started and I already sewed the two pieces together. This was, um, this is 12 feet long, so I cut it in half. It was 24 feet long, cut it in half. So it's 12 feet long by uh, about five, five feet wide. So I got these sewn together and now I gotta, I sew this side, the two pieces together. Now I gotta flip it over this way and uh, sew it down again. But um, I'm just doing a little bit of video on the pictures because I'm, I'm not, I'm not too good at sewing. So I'm just trying to not feel myself sewing right now. Maybe after I get better at it. But uh, yeah, so I got all the little clips and the D rings and stuff to go on after after we do this part. And then we'll, it's called a um, uh, flat seam or whatever. I forget the name of it, I'll, but I'll, I'll look it up right now again. Oh yeah, it's called a, a flat filled seam. So, so we're gonna sew this again, and then we'll, we'll get back to that. Okay, here's my tarp. I had it stowed away in this bag. I, uh, I got this two pieces sewn together, and uh, this is gonna be the under part where uh, we got a lot of static picked up, a lot of crap off the floor. Um, now I have to um, bend this over like that and sew that on like that. And that'll create it um, for the the rain won't get in on the ridge line, and then I'll seam seal it. I didn't do a good job on this uh, part, as you can see here, part of this. Uh, I didn't make that top one, didn't make this one wide enough uh, to catch that stuff. But it doesn't matter, this is going to be my tarp kit, and uh, so we're going to just do that. And I'm going to seam seal it down so it's going to, uh, on the other side, I'm, this is going to get sewn down, and the other side will seam seal it down. And I got this uh, silicone sealant to seam seal it after I'm finished sewing everything. So then after I'm done sewing that on, I got these uh, D clips. Let me open that up and check it out. Here's the, the, not really D rings. There are D rings, but they got a the little attachment right here. You can, you can put your uh, trekking poles in there if you want to make a trekking pole tent thing or your twine to tie it off but uh and also got this uh cross grain i'm gonna cut these to whatever length i need to and then these uh go on there i'll show you that watch these go on here like this and then uh you sew it on there just leave it a little bit so it has flexibility and you sew it onto the the tarp but after that's you you sew these on after you um, you glue these pieces on to the end right here. You're gonna go on to the edge and then um, like that, and then this this edge is gonna get rolled over to roll it him so it'll hide this, and then then you glue that piece or sew that piece on. And then this is going to get sewn all on here too also. Going to sewn on. So these are the edge ones. I got a bunch of those right here for all the different uh, points on the hammock. And then I got uh, for the corners, I have these. This is all a kit from uh, Rip Stop by the Roll. I got four of these ones. And then I got, there's the other two of those. And I got these uh, square ones. These are going to go, there's four four points of these, like in the midway of the uh, tarp, pull out points. So that way uh, you can pull the sides out a little bit more. 
So there's these. And I'll just tie those on. And then this, this will get sewn on like this, like that. Because this will be on the, these will be on the underside, glued in on, glued in on the other side, I think, how they're supposed to go. But yeah, so we'll get those, get this part uh, sewn first, and then I'll glue these, and then let that dry, and then make the um, tie-off sections, and then sew those on. Then after, well, I got to do a rolled hem first, and then do that. And then when that's all done, I'll just take some scrap pieces and make a... Uh, a bag for it. They they give you all this this uh, bungee or shot cord. You can make a a bag for it, and then these uh, little little um, bag closure things. So I'll get to sew on this first, and then the uh, yeah, that checked out. So those are nice. But those come with two of those, and I think fourteen of these. So all right, we'll get back to you. And I don't have a sewing table, so I'm using a chair. <laughs> kind of ghetto, but whatever. Um, I'll buy. I'll probably get me a table here soon. I don't know. This is just for fun, so I'll be uh, doing that. So I'm gonna get get started right now. Okay, so this is how it goes. This this piece wants to lay over this way, so that's the way I'm gonna sew it. And I'm gonna sew right on the this edge right here. And then all this extra fabric is going to go through this side. So I'm going to have a bunch of five foot of fabric come through. It's going to be difficult. So that's where I'm at. Here it goes. This is how I have all this extra fabric from the one side and the other side's all over here. I just keep sewing it. Just like that. Sew it down. I'll show you when I get more done. But... That's pretty much how it goes, just right along right here, this line. You gotta sew right next to it to sew it down. So it's trying to keep that lined up good. Hope it don't mess up. But I'm just taking my time, it's going a little bit at a time. I got it all done when I was supposed to go. top so now we're gonna glue those pieces down I'll have to clean that up but and here's what I was talking about the other side I I forgot to pull it over enough to uh, that'll be on the inside but it'll get uh, glued down when I seam seal it so That'll be nice. So I'll get to glue in these uh, pieces in. See all the static is collecting all the dog hair. Damn dog. It came out alright. It's not professional. Just really my first time really sewing stuff. So, all right, we'll get back to you. Okay, I got one corner done. This is the. Uh, just put the silicone on there like that, and then we're gonna, now we're gonna put it on the corner. Put it, some of that silicone on there and just, and just uh, spread it out all over the whole thing like that. Get it covered and then put it in those right in the corner, just like that. Just take now we just take this piece and put it on the corner, just in a little bit because we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna uh, roll the seam over after it dries and then we're also gonna stitch this like that and then back and forth them and then then we'll add those other pieces with the um, d-ring attachments so I got uh, this corner over there done. Got a shoe holding it, 
pulled down and I got this one done. So I just got two more corners to do and then uh, then we'll make those uh, centerpiece or the side other side edges. You can uh, sew this instead of gluing, uh, gluing it down if you want, but I'm doing I'm gonna do both. It's gonna make it easy for me, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm done with all the four corners. Uh, put them down with this sealant, and then now we're gonna measure out and do the other um, areas that need a, for attachments. Okay, back to my. Uh, we're gonna do. We're doing the seam, so I'm folding it over and then folding it over again, so it's like a half an inch, and then sewing right along this edge right here. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just started that. Here's here's what it looks like. It's not the the pro best, but I'm still learning. So, but it, that's how you do it. It's not that hard. I just. Uh, Probably a little bit more practice, but I'm get I'm getting it. Cause look at the other side of me. That's that's not not too bad. Maybe a little loose right there, but well, it'll be alright. So I'll just continue doing this, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm on my very last uh, hem to do. I have a hemmed edge. And then uh, we'll put those uh, D rings on after. Okay, before I uh, finish him and the rest of that, I got to put some new thread in the bobbin. But I'm gonna cut these for these D rings. Uh, so I'm gonna do that right now, and then uh, get back. So I gotta make these like uh, four to six inches long for each. And then I fold it over like that with the, the ding ring in there. So I'm going to do that and then we'll get back to it. I got the bobbin all loaded back up. Got each one of these cut. I did six inches so that'll give it three inches on each side after I bend it over. It'll be perfect mount. And then the D ring will be right there on that. Here's the D rings with... These are made that you can put your uh, hike and pulls in there. Also a stick or whatever you want, or cordage. So I got a uh, two, four, six, eight. So four for each corner and then both sides have a attach two attachments. So then after that, I we'll have to measure off for the, um, there's two other, pieces to go up like in in midway so you could pull it pull it out like this I'll show you that later on okay now that I got all the this hemmed over you see that now we're gonna put those uh, tie out points on now okay right now I'm gonna uh, sew across right here so I'll keep them together and then um, there's like a little slack in there so I can move around. So then when I attach these to the tarp, it'll be much easier. Okay, I'm back to uh, finishing these up. I got two, four more of these to attach. For now, I'm going doing a uh, box stitch and then a, uh X pattern in there. And then we'll do some more. Okay, this is what I got, just got finished doing. And sewed around the edge to sew that piece down. And then I, then I did a box stitch on this and an X pattern in the middle to secure these. It's not the best stitch work, so I'm, I'm getting better. So it'll it'll work. Also, learning to leave the needle in there so when I turn it, it I don't lose my place it, it stays lined up still so I can just turn it so I can finish doing this uh, 
X pattern right here. You can see that. Okay, that's the last one. Except for the, the side ones, I could add on. I'll, I'll like have to measure those out, but at least I have these. All the ones I need for sure. The other ones like pull the side the side of it out a little bit. It's kind of so you'd have more room in there, but we'll see what we're gonna do. Okay, folks, here's my tarp finished. It's all done. It, it equals out to a, a nine nine six by twelve. There's a it's one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten tie out points. And also I can add I can add a one, two, three, four more like in the middles to uh so you can pull it out like this. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet or not, but this'll be plain enough to cover my hammock and Here's those those rings. You can put your your uh, trekking poles in there, or a stick. If you want to carve a stick or something, or you could tie it out more. Uh, here's my stitching. What I did. I'm not the this is a beginner project for me, so I'm not, I'm still learning and trying to work out the bugs. But you can see where I hemmed along the edge, rolled him. And then I glued those pieces on and then cross stitched it right there. But uh, definitely, this one, one I did is messed up, but it's it's still stitched in good. I just have cut these loose pieces off, but uh, that was my first one I did. And uh, so I'll have to fix that. I'll just go up like that. And then there's a rolled. Uh, Felt seam, I think it's called, or flat seam. It's not the best, but uh, it'll work for for my hammock. It don't really rain here, so. But my uh, next one I do will be better than this. Um, and then here's my uh, press it loop to attach it. And then down this other side. I got these on. I'm gonna order some clip things that Hector Hector Outdoors told me about. You put them on there and you just put the the your line through there and you just clip it down and it locks it in to place. It's kinda cool. Well that's not the way till I get paid to do that. But I think I can tie off here like I did for my other tarp and, and close the the edge or the end. I'll try that and see how it, how it works. But for now, this is how it is. Well, almost went down. Uh, yeah, it's not pro stitching, but it definitely, definitely will work. There's plenty of room underneath here. Put my hammock underneath here because the, the hammock's 11 foot. So I'll just have to uh, seam seal this up here. I'll do that another day and then, yeah, it'll work, it'll work cool. But I'll make another video of uh, of this out in action, or at least with the hammock underneath it, because right now I'm just at home, I just finished it. But I'll make another video uh, probably next week, uh, set up different different modes or something I guess I don't know we'll see I'll have my uh, hammock under there also with this this big size of a uh, tarp you can uh, use it as a uh, just by itself as a shelter and, uh, so I might add some more points to it as well but uh Yep, that's it. That's my tarp project. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, watch for future videos with this. You can see I, uh, 
I put it in there like that so you can enclose it. It, it needs a little adjustment, but still you get the, the idea. You can enclose it so it can be in there. Super shelter with your hammock in there. I think I'm going to add those a piece attachment here and here. I just have to get the measurements and then that'll, that'll pull the, the sides out like that to give you room in there. That's that's like that with the enclosed. So that'll, that'll work perfectly. I definitely just have to, uh, well, it just needs to adjust a little bit and then those other tie out points. That'll work perfect. And then, uh, I might, might add some more tie-up points here, but probably not. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. At least that gives you some airflow through right there with your system. Anyways, that's my uh, DIY tarp shelter and or well for my hammock system anyways and then if you want to make a shelter ground shelter as the just a tarp shelter you can do that as well there's all kinds of different uh, configurations out there but uh, all right thanks for watching